This trip is a special trip because it's kind of like the first trip we have as a behind the mask family since uh, the COVID. Here we go again, heads down the ground, snow out of sight, blowing in the wind, blowing in the wind. Fuva Mula was a place we heard a lot about, a lot of very, very promising things. Large pelagic sharks and other animals present there, but also because it has a very particular spot on our uh, little planet. It's based just under the equator. There is no atoll around. Around the island, it basically drops down to very deep waters, which also makes the diving there different than in most of the other islands in the Maldives. It's not what you imagine. It's not a palm tree beach with bungalows. It's the real thing. Is this all we're living for? All, all we're living for. Oh, there must be more. It was very clear that this is a fishing island, which is of course kind of logical, but in a way it's also very interesting because it connects to the story of the tiger sharks. You have to imagine the island a couple of years ago didn't have any diving. Nobody really was aware that there are tiger sharks around. And then uh, Tatiana and Panda, they developed that. And now everything completely changed. Now all of a sudden there's more dive shops around, there's like a huge demand uh, for people to go diving with the tiger sharks. The problem was that nobody explored the underwater life. The uh, main treasure of this island is underwater. And what I really enjoy is the mindset of the dive shop. They try to encourage everyone to organize and to have certain rules that this can be done in a sustainable as possible way. And uh, I think we all enjoy that a lot. Uh, I mean, it's traditional. The, the tigers are there anyways because the fishermen are throwing their fish waste in, in the harbor. So somehow it's artificial, but on the other side, it's like natural built up. So that gives you the opportunity to, to come very close. You take the boat, you go five minutes, and then you get dropped just in the harbor entrance. If you wanna come in, you'll have to stretch my skin. If you wanna survive with those beautiful eyes, you'll have to give in. Zeus says run, I wanna have some fun. Let my lightning abide at your cute little side. And of course, when there is a big boat going out, you have to dock a little bit because it's quite shallow and uh, it's interesting. Who wants an enemy? Stand up and raise your hand. Raise both now if you can. Time flows like Big, coming close. You're go. I'm clinging on. That every misery leaves company. Oh, oh,
So there's Tatiana in the dive shop. She's kind of like the boss uh, in the middle, clearly in charge of uh, the business uh, things. She was actually the first one because now the, the island itself has a number of dive operators, but she was the first one there and attracting all kinds of uh, people, dive lovers, ocean lovers, uh, shark enthusiasts from all over the world. It's an incredible story of somebody uh, having that dream, going all the way up there and um, yeah, finding that spot. And then there's a second, I think, very interesting feature, which is Panda, uh, her husband, a uh, Maledivian, super nice guy, always smiling, has a smile from this cheek to the other. Uh, always helping us out and obviously also a super good diver. They immediately had the dream of establishing that dive operation together. And now you can see they're like a super well-oiled team. And that team in the dive shop is uh, quite unique. A lot of different uh, characters, everybody very dedicated, very helpful, very reliable and always in an amazing mood. Uh, I really like to think back when we go out with a boat and uh, we play the Reggae Shark song. A good time with great people. This is basically the way uh, it's supposed to be. And one of these people, I think, uh, which was a huge match with our behind the mask philosophy, I think, was Bobby. Ah, oh, Rasta man, Bobby. Bobby is just an amazing guy. He's always smiling, very relaxed. Uh, really carries out the, the, the island atmosphere. Everybody was just sucked into this relaxed type of atmosphere, happy, smiling, and, and it's, I think it's what everybody looks for. Everybody is in Fuvamula for the tiger sharks, and they are obviously super impressive, and it's a dive site you'll never forget. But I think we were all very amazed by, by this plateau type of uh, structure. It's called Farikede in, in um, Maldivian. We discovered that there is a lot of uh, hunting action going on on the plateau. We spend a lot of dives just hanging there in the blazing current. It's a huge fun to do this, even though it's not very rewarding because you're not going to get like every day amazing shots of it. These uh, small jacks, they always stay around there as a big uh, ball, fish ball. The grey reefs will be like scouting around the uh, jacks and the giant trevelys and dog to tunas will be waiting for a chance to hunt. Panda uh, was there orchestrating with uh, his stick. looking at the current, looking at the light, looking at the visibility. Do we want to go for the thresher sharks and wait there and waste a lot of bottom time and waste a lot of air? You know, there's even schools of hammerheads that go through. I enjoyed it a lot. And I think we just begin to understand about it a little bit. So I feel like there is still something left behind that we uh, have to come back to uh, one day.
respect Char. I feel like a home on here now. It's an addiction <laughs> for the divers. <laughs>